Hey, what's up everybody? It's Gerald with Flashback Film Productions, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the Creative Cloud. Um, a little bit of overview for it. The Creative Cloud is Adobe's um, entire collection available to you wherever you are um, for one low monthly price. And you get access to all the apps that they um, have created so that you can basically do whatever you want and you don't have to worry about paying hundreds of dollars up front um, or only having bits and pieces of it if for a specialized interest area. You can get everything for one low price, which is really, really nice, with constant automatic updates and access to your files in the cloud um, with varying tiers of payment depending on how much space you want, how many people you have on the same account, and so on and so forth. Um, real quick overview, here's the desktop. And if we take a look over here, we have our Adobe Creative Cloud control panel. And this gives you access to information and installation of all the apps that you want. Now, one of the main things I wanted to touch on, there is one very crucial one missing for video and post-production enthusiasts, and that is Adobe Encore. It makes you wonder, well, if Adobe Encore isn't included, then what's the point of buying Creative Cloud? Because, as you know, Adobe Encore is the dedicated program for authoring DVDs and Blu-ray. What good is it if you can't output your movies and projects to disk? It turns out that Adobe Encore is actually included with Creative Cloud. If we go online here, go to Creative 6, it was the last time that they included Encore, you'll see that it is still readily available. Filmmakers and video pros also love Encore. If you click on that, it takes you to the Encore webpage, and lo and behold, available in Adobe Creative Cloud. Get it as part of Adobe Creative Cloud. Now, go back to your control panel and it is not there. So I had to do a little bit of digging, but I did find it, and it's, it's weird. They didn't include it as part of the main program suite, and I'm not sure why. It hasn't been updated yet uh, with Creative Cloud support. It is still part of the CS6 family. So I'll show you here how to go about getting it. Um, what you can do is log into your account. In this case, here we are. I'll go to my Adobe. Find your Adobe Creative Cloud once you're online and go to the Download Center. Download Center will give you access to all of them. Once again, Encore isn't in here. So here's how we dig for it. What you have to do is go to Premiere Pro. What they have done is actually packaged Encore in the Premiere Pro family, but not Premiere Pro CC. You have to go through this page, and once you've already downloaded Premiere Pro and been using it, what you'll do is go here, and down here it says in this version, and gives you all the synopsis uh, features, system requirements, and languages. What you'll do is click on Adobe Premiere Pro CC, click Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. Once you have changed, and it says now here, download Adobe Premiere Pro CS6, you click that, and it will begin to download here in your Creative Cloud control panel. And you'll notice here I've got Adobe Premiere Pro CC, as well as Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 family. Now here's where the change is. What you don't realize is that Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe Encore are both downloading simultaneously, but it's not going to tell you here inside the control panel. But once it's done and installed and everything is up to date, all you have to do is go here, go to Applications, and you will notice Adobe Premiere Pro CC, Adobe Premiere Pro CS6, and right where it should be, Adobe Encore CS6. You can drag that down to your dock, which I've already done, open it, and you're ready to go. You do still have two versions of Premiere on your computer. That's pretty much just a problem for you if you don't like clutter. You'll still have access to both CC and CS6. Of course, there's no reason to run CS6, so you basically just need to leave it as is, and you don't have to worry about it anymore. You can still use all your other CC programs just as you would, with Adobe Encore though, they haven't yet updated it, so it's pretty much just staying in the CS6 realm. But that is how you get it onto your computer and how you can use it once purchasing Creative Cloud. You don't have to pay for it again or anything like that. It just requires a little bit of digging. So anyway, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it makes it a little bit easier. Don't freak out if you can't find Encore. It's really simple and easy to find. <laughs> All right, take care.